So in short now is the incumbent member of parliament for the Aswasi constituency, Al Haji Mutaka Mubarak. He has just arrived here at the Peace of God polling center in the Aswasi constituency. He's here with um, his wife, then children, and children, and some party members who uh, have flanked him. He's going into the center, all white. The incumbent member of parliament is here to go through the process. He will go through the process, and afterwards, we are going to ask him about his observation on the voting process so far, the areas he has monitored. This is the election bureau on City TV and City FM as well as citynewsroom.com coming to you live from the Aswasi constituency at the Peace of God polling station at Abuabu in the Aswasi constituency where the member of parliament for the area Al Hadi Mutaka Mubarak is here to cast his vote and uh, he's going through the process holding the hand of his daughter, he came here with his family. He'll be taken through the process so far. The electoral officers uh, give him direction to follow the COVID protocol by washing his hand before beginning the process. So he's at the Veronica bucket now in the shorts, washing his hand has been done by voters who have come here since morning. It's been adhered to and it's enforced here by the electoral officers. The thermometer uh, gun is also used on people who are coming here. This area is enclosed. You have a security person, a police officer at the main entrance checking voters who are coming in to ensure that the adhere to the COVID protocols. So the MP himself is not an exception. He also has to go through these processes because these are the laid down measures being put in place by Ghana's electoral body, the Electoral Commission, trying to ensure that people or voters who come here adhere to the COVID protocols. And the Aswasi constituency has been in the news prior to the voting a lot of issues. You remember uh, some uh, figures or some statistics that put the constituency as one of the hotspots as far as the election 2020 is concerned. And there's been an intensified security patrols, talk of military and police patrols within constituencies in the Aswasi area and or within areas in the Aswasi constituency to ensure that there's order, there's peace, people are able to do their voting peacefully and go back to their places peaceful. So far, we've not had any issues, uh, except that there's been late start of the voting process in some of the polling stations we've visited, although there were early arrival of voting materials, but uh, there's been late start of the process because of the sorting out issues of documentations that or materials that will be used for the voting process. So the member of parliament for Aswasi constituency, Al Haji Mutaka Mubarak, in short, at the Peace of God polling station, Abuabu, in the Aswasi constituency, is going through the process right now. He's going to be verified as the next step so that he can also vote. After voting, we want to have a word with him for the observations he has made so far uh, as far as the voting is concerned and what he makes of today's voting. He has raised some concerns prior to the elections, issues about security during the registration exercise, during the exhibition exercise, issues about the electoral commission during uh, some of the exercises prior to 
today's election. And we'll be finding out from him whether these concerns he's been raising, all of them have been resolved or, resolved or even part of them have been resolved. So he'll go through the process currently. Like I said earlier, the Aswasi constituency has been in the news prior to the election day today. And there's been intensified patrol of police and military combined team of military and police going around the constituency trying to ensure there's peace and order in the constituency. But so far, there's not been any issue whatsoever in the constituency. Everything has been orderly. Voters at various polling stations are comporting themselves. They are adhering to the COVID-19 protocols. They are also ensuring that they comply with all the electoral rules that govern today's process as far as the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections in Ghana is concerned. This is the election bureau on City TV, City FM, as well as citynewsroom.com, recovering constituencies across the country. And currently, we are in the Aswansi constituency, bringing live shows from the Peace of God polling station at Abuabu, where the member of parliament for the area, incumbent member of parliament for the area, has just walked to cast his vote. So <laughs> interestingly, um, he's using his daughter's thumbprint to, to, to do the casting. Uh, he, he did not do that, but he has uh, used his daughter's thumbprint and then he's, he's done the casting and then he's folding it so well, gave it to the daughter who is all white, in, in, in all white, to put it inside the ballot box. So that is the first step for the presidential and he's returning to take uh, the ballot for the parliamentary and we, uh, possibly that is the same process uh, that will happen. This is the election bureau on City TV and City FM 97.3 and on citynewsroom.com. So the member of parliament has also taken the stamped ballot paper for the parliamentary. He's moving to the box to cast that one too. So he, he's doing the same thing. The daughter, uh, the daughter's stamp has been used and he's thumb printing on it. And afterwards, he's going to fold it and drop it in the box. And that will be the final process for him. So he's done for that. And yeah, so the daughter has just given some gestures uh, in terms of two shots. So his family also has, uh, they have lined up the wife, the son and the daughter, all white. So we'll be asking why the choice of attire today and why he allowed he, his daughter to, to do. His, his, his bodyguard uh, is also casting his vote and all the interact that came with him. Uh, so we'll be speaking to the Honorable Member of Parliament for Aswansi Constituency, Aladi Mutaka Mubarak. You are welcome to City TV, the Election Bureau. Uh, thank you, thank you. Mm. First of all, what is the choice of the attire today? Well, I mean, if you followed me throughout the 16 years that I've been an MP, each day we are voting, I've always been a white attire. I mean, white sim symbolizes peace, it symbolizes calm, it also symbolizes victory. So I'm very confident that by the grace of God, democracy will be victorious today, no matter what happened. I mean, so far, all of us have seen the process is going on very well, it's very calm, Almost every polling station has started very well. 206 polling stations across the constituency, and I've taken update from all my reps across the constituency. It is going on very well. It's very calm. It is our prayer that it will continue this way till the end. We'll get the counting without skirmishes. We'll go and collate and let democracy be victorious. Um, you have said uh, this has been so cool, everything is moving on so smooth. Before the elections, you had uh, raised some concerns. Do you think that most of them have been resolved or parts have been resolved? Well, what I would say is that, I mean, if you notice, early in the morning, there were some young men, 10 of them on motorbikes in New Zongo. Fortunately, the military were there. 
and they were able to quickly arrest them. And I want to believe that that's the only incident so far we've had. Even they, they, they were not unoffensive, but the way they were moving in a group, I mean, sent some wrong whiffs. And we are happy that the military were able to deal with it. I'm happy that all the issues that we've raised with regards to the attempt to, uh, what you call, run over us, the presence of the security is helpful. It is my prayer that the security are not going to relax to say that, oh, so far it's good, so maybe let's move out of our swansea. And then they will move out and something nasty happens. It is our prayer that they will continue to be vigilant, they will continue to patrol the streets. I have told, if you notice, you don't see any NDC young men going around. I told them that nobody, you are either deployed at the police station or you have no business saying that you are monitoring on the streets of uh, Aswansi. So we are not asking anybody to be in a group monitoring anything. We trust the security people, they will do what is fair, what is just. And it is also our expectation that the Electoral Commission staff will also do their work. And there have been some number of incidents, I'm happy that the security intervened, where the RO says the, 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 the pulling agents should go far away. And it was almost becoming a skirmish in Ababu School Park. That's where my office is. And the military, the police came, looked at the law and said, no, you don't have the right to say they should go far away. The law said they should stand where they can see what is happening. So they have to stand where they can see. And I thought that that's very good from the, the security guys. Because previously you see them saying that, oh, what the EC official says is final. But the law is there. And the book is given, we got the book to give it to every agent. So we are happy that so far we are all following the rules. I have told a number of the security guys that I've met that, look, if we cross the line, deal with us. If any other person crosses the line, equally deals with that person. That's the only way you allow this, you, you ensure this sanctity to continue to the end. If you begin to, to sway and try to be persuasive, when the law is being breached, then you'll be contributing to destabilizing the process. I must say, I'm very happy. I mean, we've all prayed, we've talked. We've done everything humanly possible, and I want to believe that it is yielding results because so far, I mean, it's almost 11 o'clock. That's almost, uh, we are almost getting to four hours after the opening of the, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the start of the registration, uh, the voting, and we've not heard anything as much. Well. We continue to pray to God that it will control this way till the end. There's been an intensified um, military patrol or security patrol in the area. Are you okay with, with, with the patrol? I'm very, very okay. I mean, I'm happy. I've told our people they shouldn't feel intimidated. They are here to protect us. They are here to ensure that we all follow the law. They are here to ensure that the right things are done. So we have no reason to, to be scared. We should just come out in our numbers and make sure that we are, we are voting right. So I'm sure uh, my, my constituents are, are not intimidated by the presence of the military because they are not doing anything untold. We just pray that it will control this way till the end. Um, one, one interesting thing happened uh, when uh, you, you went to cast your vote, you, you used your daughter's thumping to do that. Um, why, why do you do that? Well, I mean, if you see her, she's only six. She doesn't even understand what is happening. So I said I pick the tongue, but I turn, I do the tongue printing. So it's virtually me doing it. But if you had given it to her, she would not even know what to do. So I mean, she's my she's my princess, and I've always come here with her for the past uh, the last election. I mean, with this same. So it's just taking her through uh, the the process. Yes. Finally, what is the hope for you? In today's election? I have no doubt in my mind that the people of Aswansi are going to return me. I, I, I have the least doubt. I mean, you yourself, judge my performance from Parliament, judge my performance in the constituency. I am super confident that they are going to retain me at the close of today. I know I've done a lot of good things. I'm not, I'm not an angel. I have my, my weakness and I have my strength. I believe my strength far outweighs my weakness. And the good people of Aswansi knows that. And they will, I know by the grace of God they are going to return me at the close of the day. That's a member of parliament for the Aswansi constituency, uh, Alhaji Mutaka Mubarak, who, just, uh, gone, who has just gone through the process here at the Peace of God polling station uh, at Abuabo in the Aswansi constituency. He's spoken about a lot of issues. First, the concerns he raised prior to today's polls or today's exercise. He has been talking about the fact that a lot of them have been resolved. He spoke about the fact that he liked uh, uh, 
the security setting, how the security uh, is being patrolling the uh, streets of Aswasi. He has cautioned his members or the party supporters not to do anything untoward to breach the security guidelines in today's exercise.